Today on Mana Studio, I wanna talk about how I get HDMI into my computer with this. Welcome to Mana Studio, my name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director, Ronald. Today I just wanna make a real quick video about how I get HDMI into my computer. I've had a lot of questions about how I'm getting my camera feed into my computer uh, for my DSLR or other cameras, and I use this. This is the Cam Link 4K. It's a USB dongle, still love that word, and it's a video encoder. One end, it has an HDMI in. The other side, you have USB that goes to your computer. It's typically $120, $130, but as with everything else in the world that has to do with computers and video, it's sold out. It's sold out on Amazon and Best Buy and even their own website. Um, at least today, Thursday, April 9th, when I'm filming this, it is sold out. But I still wanted to make this video in case it comes back on the market sometime soon and you'd like to purchase it. So if you can get your hands on an encoder like this, um, you just need to make sure that your camera has an HDMI output and that it can be a clean HDMI output because this just takes whatever your camera is feeding out through the HDMI port and usually that's the, at least on consumer camcorders, is the actual display you're seeing. So it might still have like the exposure info and the recording time and the focus bars and it might still have all that, uh, that info that's on the back of your display on your camera. You need to make sure you can get rid of that so that it doesn't show up on your recording, obviously so you can have a clean HDMI out with just the picture. I use the Canon SL2, which you're seeing right here. And while it doesn't officially have a clean HDMI out, you can turn off all of that on your display. And then if you set it to manual focus, you no longer have the display box, the focus box either. So you get a clean HDMI out. So before you buy one of these, make sure the camera you're using does have a clean HDMI out or else you're not gonna be able to use your feed. And then to actually capture the video on my computer from this, I use OBS, which I just did three tutorials for last week. You can check out on my channel. And once you plug it into your computer, OBS or any other video software should recognize it just like it would with the USB webcam. So now I just wanna show you a couple of video examples. You might be wondering why you'd want um, a camera going into this into your computer as opposed to just a webcam that plugs straight in your computer. So I'm gonna show you a couple different video examples between my uh, Logitech C920 webcam, which is a very good webcam, also sold out everywhere, unfortunately, and my DSLR, my Canon SL2. I'll show you the difference in good light and bad light, and that will give you an idea why you might wanna buy one of these so you can plug with an external camera as opposed to just a webcam. So first up, we have the Logitech C920 webcam. It's a 1080p webcam. It's about $60. Um, it's a really good webcam. Again, sold out right now. Sorry. So this is what the Logitech webcam looks like with uh, good lighting. I have two soft boxes set up. Now let's switch over to the DSLR plugged in through the Cam Link 4K. So now you're seeing the Canon SL2 plugged in through the Cam Link 4K. So this is what a DSLR looks like. Obviously, much better quality. The C920 webcam looked really good with good lighting, but obviously the DSLR looks much better and you can get a, a more cinematic look, I would say. You can get the short depth of field where you get the blurry background and just the definition of everything and exposure is much better. Now let's look at where it'll make a bigger difference. These are some examples in poor lighting. All right, so this is just dimmer room lighting without any sort of soft boxes or cinematic lights. You can see the webcam here, the Logitech C920 is struggling a lot more. It's having problems with focus and color and it's a little grainy. Low light is where cheaper cameras and more expensive cameras really set themselves apart from each other. Now let's switch over to the DSLR. So here's the Canon SL2. You can see it looks much, much better. A big part of that is that since it's the DSLR, we can easily adjust the exposure to get the proper exposure. And it's not struggling in the lower light to figure out what the exposure should be. Also, it's much, much sharper, of course. And again, the focus is much, much better. 
So that's how I get HDMI into my computer. The Camlink 4K is, in my opinion, the easiest and cheapest way to do so. And hopefully sometime soon it'll come back into stock so you can get one uh, for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you back here soon.